Hey everyone, John Runner 88 here with another review. This time it is for the Imperial Assault Tank from the Vintage Collection. This is an awesome vehicle. And it's got tons of little details on it that are just, they're just awesome. It's got this little gun here and it swivels back and forth. Um, not the most practical Star Wars vehicle, I would say. Um, it's got like the treads. Not sure why they wouldn't just have a hover tank. Um, and I can't speak for the movie. I'm pretty sure it was, it seemed like it was a hover tank, but it may have had treads. I don't know if they changed the design up a little bit for um, the toy. I'll have to look into that. Should probably look into it. I've been meaning to. Just always forget when it pops into my mind. It's usually at work or something when I'm just aimlessly stocking shelves. But, um... My only issue with it is I do not have a tank driver. I want one. I got this guy here to kind of show it off a little bit. Um, you know, he's almost a tank driver. He's got some of the, like, he's got the same, like, torso and stuff like that. The helmets are a little similar. Um, so I'll pop him in, show it off a little bit. But the thing is awesome. And the best part about it it was only ten dollars last holiday season at five below um they had tons of them for just ten dollars which is it was just mind-blowing none around me in my state but i had to go um drive about an hour and a half or so to one that did have them thankfully somebody um that i follow on instagram fellow collector he picked one up and i was just like I think I saw that he was, he mentioned some, um, being kind of like around my area, like up in, um, the state above me. And I was like, where'd you find that? Cause I can't find him at mine. And, you know, it was at a location only about an hour and a half away from me. So I made the drive one day, picked one up, wish I got two because it's awesome. And for $10, like I should have just gotten two. Um, but I got one. Maybe this holiday season we'll see them again. Maybe they didn't sell through all their stock and they'll be putting them back out again. That'd be cool. Um, or maybe they'll have a different vehicle this year, which would be even cooler. Or maybe they'll have multiple vehicles. That would be the bestest. Um, <clears throat> I know that's not proper English. Who cares? Um, but yes, now to get onto the vehicle. Put you over to the side. Just recently got my first Scarif Trooper, and I've got more on the way because I love them and I want more. Um, again, the Solo Rogue One designs, they're just all so good. And I just need like a million of all of them. <clears throat> so, put you right there for now. So it's got these swivel turns here. It's got a little hatch up here that you can open up. The treads do work. Which is awesome. Um, got a little hatch here. It's got this little panel up here that you can take off. It's got like some little engine bits in there, whatever they are. Um, just a little extra feature. And the swivel turret over here, the one in the front that I showed off a little bit. Um, got these three canisters on the back, which can come off. These are the Kyber Crystal canisters. Some nice detail on them. I love these. They're great for just like putting in the background, stacking to kind of like fill in a shot for some toy photography. I've got the one that opens up and then it's got the three little crystal canisters in here and they each have their own little kyber crystal inside, which is awesome. Close that one up. And again, awesome for figures. You can just Open one up, have a guy like looking at it or something. Um, another cool feature is the back here. These two pieces can, there's little slots that these can slide down into. And then you've got a ton of pegs in there. And you can just like put troopers in there and just have a little transport, which is awesome. I love that. And then you've got the front hatch that opens up. You got the two seats. Got the 
two seats in there. One is down a little bit more so that its head can be inside the vehicle completely. And then you've got these two. This is the only one that moves a little bit. But yeah, you've got there's so much detail in there. I need to hit that up with like some paint, just bring it out a little bit more. And then there's just like this like random gold part right there, which is cool. I like that shiny silver panel in the back here. Then you got the area for the commander to just stand up. Oh, he's got some little pedals down there, whatever those are for. Um, maybe for like a if you've got a student, there's just so much detail in this thing. Like there's pedals all the way in there. There's a little sticker in the front. There's even a sticker. You probably can't even see that. Yeah, there's a sticker all the way in here. You can like hardly even get there. I feel bad for whoever had to put those stickers on in the factory. Um, even these little pipes here, they're just like kind of their own little piece. It just looks so cool. Um, but there's a little detail, and I don't think many people have noticed it. My daughter, who's five years old, she pointed it out a little after, she was four at the time even. She pointed it out, like, right after I had gotten it. She was like, oh, daddy, can we play with the, the coffee cup, like, ship? And I'm just like, what are you, like, what are you talking about? And she was like, the coffee cup ship. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she like pointed it out to me. And she was like, this. And I was just like, my tank? And she was like, yeah, the coffee cup. And I was just like, that is not a coffee cup. And she was like, no. And she like brought me over to it. And pointed inside. Yes, everyone. There is a coffee cup inside of the salt tank. It's got a handle and everything. And the actually painted the inside of it to be like dark so it's either coffee or it's hot chocolate you know what it could be hot chocolate it looks a little more like hot chocolate so we can all know that in rogue one when that tank commander is riding riding high and pretty inside of his tank he's just sipping some cocoa in there Probably ducks down, takes a nice sip, and then some rebels blast them away. They're just guys. They're just people working, you know? They're just the everyday Joe. Sipping some cocoa. Yeah, I thought that was incredibly funny. And I don't know if like that was just a little joke when they were designing the thing, or, or what, but that is without a doubt a little cup of something on a little shelf that they just randomly put in there. So, it's awesome. You see the pedals and everything in there. It's such a great vehicle. The weathering is just so good. Like, come on. Little scuff marks all over the place. Just everywhere. It just looks awesome. Let's just prop it up a little bit. Yeah, so good. Such an awesome vehicle. Put this guy in it. And get a little view of him. You can have him up here, sipping, sipping some cocoa up here. He's like, hey guys, just sipping my cocoa. Leave me alone. I'm just doing my job transporting these kyber crystals. Probably don't even know what the kyber, kyber crystals even are. <clears throat> now this guy shot of him actually sitting i don't even think i've like sat somebody in here before maybe one person or something or you know what i put rio in here before come on buddy there we go get the steering wheel out of the way Sticking up a little bit, but there he is, driving the tank, looking good, looking fresh. He's like, hey, I don't know who designed this, so just my head could be sticking out of it, but screw that guy. 
Yeah, it's a weird design in some aspects. I know they just kind of like took a tank from our world and just kind of changed it up a little bit, made it Star Warsy. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite function, I feel, as well as it should for, like, a Star Wars vehicle with, like, the hatches and stuff. Like, come on, you got, like, flying cars and ships and you're using this, this, a hatch, a little panel here, treads, but regardless, awesome vehicle, awesome little accessories. For $10, I might as well have just stolen it. Like, who's making money off of that? And again? Thank you for watching. This is the Vintage Collection Imperial Assault Tank with my Scarif Buddy in it. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.